Right, so I'm down here at St. Patrick's Primary School and I'm chatting with a few of the kids down here and asking them a few questions. So we're going to translate the following Ross Lyon sayings. He's got a few sayings that he loves, so we're going to translate them. What do you think they mean? So, let the cobblers do the cobbling. I had no idea. Is it, is it a cow? <laughs> <laughs> what should it be? There's no a cockatoo idea. in the house. There's a cockatoo in the house. Okay. It's never as good or it's never as bad as what it seems. It's like, it's never as bad as it actually is. If like you miss a goal, it's mm. not actually too bad. But if you win, it's not too good because you're not, you might not be in the finals or anything. That's pretty much spot on. That is a great translation to that saying. Don't be bad. Don't be bad. Don't be good. <laughs> Today's news is tomorrow's fish and chip wrapper. Tomorrow if we win, we get to have fish and chips for dinner. <laughs> that is a great answer. If you win, I'll take the money of all the people and give it to you and you can buy chi um, chi chips and chips and fish. Do you guys go to the footy? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I like watching the Dockers. What's the best thing about going to the football? Um, we get to have um, kips there. Get to have kips? Chips. Chips? Yeah, <laughs> what do you have with your chips? Oh, we have tomato sauce. Mm. I get treats. What treats do you get? Um, like chips and the juice and marshmallows. Mm, yeah, um. I like the cheer on the place. Yeah. Is your, yeah, let's go buddy, let's go. And then, yeah. Surely you're going to be a little bit louder when you go to the footy. Yeah, I'll be louder than that. Give us, give us your best chan. No, it's, so, it's, it's a small room, you know, like right. yelling here. Right, what does your mum and dad say at the football? My dad yells, come on boys! They do, if Dockers wouldn't score a goal, my dad would just get really mad because he's a really um, bad, good Dockers supporter. My mum says, cheer on the players. If you don't, I, I won't get you chips. That's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> Does she? Give us your best reaction, your best ever reaction to these following scenarios. So Sonny Walsh has just kicked a goal. What? What do you do? Yes! 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 Oh, just a single fist pump, I like that. What about when we lose by a point? I wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't say anything. I'd run down onto the field, throw the ball through the goal and say, and twice, and then I'd say, we won! Then I'd be like, I'll just fall my, I'll just take off my shoe and throw it at the stadium. I would go <laughs> up to one of them and roast them so I could eat them. So I've got the ball, I'm running outside of the defensive 50 and I hit up Jesse Hogan. What's your reaction to that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? Because I want to take some ground and we want to move the ball towards the goals. So I've got to hit up someone. Good job. Good job. Uh, good on my. Good on you, mate. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thanks for having me at St. Patrick's Primary School. Thanks for answering the questions and being such good participants of this little quiz. Thank you. Yep. <laughs>